call came in. All right, miss, I'll let you know each and everything. But before that, can I have your, may I have your first name and last name, please, so I can pull out the information in my system? Yes, it's Justina Mick. Justina? Yeah. And what's the last name? M as in Mary, I-C-K. And what is the last four of your social security number? Uh, can you tell me what this is about? I just don't like, uh, I don't really like confirming my social. All right, miss, I'll, 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 register. I'll just let you know. The reason behind my call is to notify you that your social security number has been found for criminal and fraudulent activity in the state of Texas. So are you aware about that? No, I don't even live in Texas. I never have. All right, miss. But your, uh, somebody is using your social security number for doing some kind of fraudulent activities. That is the reason, miss, we are contacting you. Okay. Uh, do you know what the activity is? I mean... I'll let you know each and everything, but ma miss, before that, can you just verify me your last four of your social security number? Because yeah. Because this is a very confidential information, and we just do not uh, to give to any third party. All so right, it's, it's uh. You for that verification. Okay, it's. La 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 la. Seven eight four two. All right, miss. And miss, can you just verify me your address? Yeah, it's uh. Ninety six thirty Brook Court, Wyndham, Ohio four 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 three eight. Miss, can you just go some? Can you do 90? 96, 96, yeah, 96, 30, Brook, 30. Brook Court, Brook Court, Wyndham, Ohio, and that's 44487. Just give me a moment, I'll just pull out the information and let you know okay. what is the situation and why we are contacting you, okay, miss? Just All right. Line. Right, miss, are you there? Yeah. Okay, miss, so now I have the legal affidavit which is under your name, so I'll let you know. I'll just read out it for you. So listen to me, uh, me carefully and do not interrupt while I'm reading. I'll just let you know the situation, what is going on under your social security number. Then I'll just let you know how we can resolve this. Okay, miss? Okay. So do not interrupt while I'm speaking. And before I start, I want to inform you that the line which we are talking right now is totally recorded by the Social Security Administration and law enforcement agencies for quality and control purpose. So make sure whatever you say or commit on this recordable line must be honest, okay? Okay. All right. So, miss, this investigation was started by the law enforcement agencies under your name and your social security number when they have found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas. The make and made model of that car was Toyota Corolla with the plate number TX2440. This car was and when the locals are reported about this car to the local sheriff department, they have done an investigation of the car and they found out some blood and drugs inside the car, which make them totally unfailing hands. After investigation, they found out that car was rented under your name and your social security number. So, and there are two addresses linked with the title of the vehicle. The first address is 7609 Claremont Avenue, El Paso, Texas, with the zip code number 75089. And the second address is yours. So, do you know about the both of address? Uh, no, I don't know anything about it. I've never lived in Texas. I've, right, never, I've never left the state of Ohio. All right, Miss, I, because I can understand, Miss. So... Do 
you have any property rented under your name in the state of Texas? No, I don't. All right, man. Because when we have done further investigation, we found out five properties which was rented under your name and your social security number. And it was raided by the Texas State Rangers Division and the U.S. Marshal Department. But unfortunately, at that time, there was no one available at the address. But we have found some documentation which relates to the banking institutions like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase Bank, TD Bank, and then after Regions Bank. And these all accounts are running under your name and your social security number. And from those accounts, thousands of dollars being wired locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. Because this all money has been wired to the narco traffic for criminal activities like Mexico and Colombia. So, Ms. have you ever lost your wallet or any personal information in past? No, I haven't. All right, Miss. Do you do you ever shared any personal information with anyone, your friends, family members, relative, or anyone colleague? No. All right, Miss. Because right now someone has an access to your personal information, which is the biggest concern for us. You might be a victim of identity theft. So that is the reason we are calling you. We okay. Know that you are the low border citizen of the United States, Miss. Okay. So now, Miss, based on Yes. Well, what what am I supposed to do then? I'll uh, let you know, Miss. So, based on trail of evidence, we have got three serious allegations against the culprit for the felony drug offense, which is money laundering, drug trafficking, and theft by deception. So now, the state courthouse of Texas has decided to suspend your social security number because we have an accused trail of suspicious information in custody. For that, tomorrow morning, we will fix your appointment with the two government officers. Before that, we need to differentiate which is your true information and which is... I'll just transfer your call to the U.S. Marshal Department Agency and he will assist you for the next procedure, Miss. Okay? Oh, okay. Hello? Yeah, okay. All right, Miss. Uh, just be on the line. I'll just... Yes, ma'am. So now I'm being transferred to a marshal. Thank you for holding. Your line has been connected to the U.S. Marshal. Badge ID would be 1612. Unit 5. Am I speaking with Justina? Justina Mike? Mick, yes. I'm sorry, Miss Mick. And uh, before we go ahead and further proceed to record your statement over the recorded line, to serve it to the federal courthouse, we need to verify your identity. So can you verify me with your date of birth and your social? I'm not going to, I'm, you know what, uh, let me just say a couple of things. First off, these allegations are, are supposedly against me. I didn't even give the guy the right social number. I didn't give him the right address, and I didn't give him the right name. You guys are full of shit. Stop calling me, or I'm going to go ahead and press charges. I am a minister with the state of Ohio. And they hang up. Okay. Now, the reason for my call is to let you know that your social security number has been found for some criminal and fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. Are you aware about that, Miss Justina? No, I've never lived out of the state of Ohio. I've never even been out of the state of Ohio. Uh, that's a nice answer. But, Miss Justina, uh, as per the situation, we have received some notifications from the Federal Bureau of Investigation that someone has allegedly tried to use your social security number in a different state at this point of time. So, I need to go ahead and pull up your information. Uh, Justine Anderson and give you the right information what we need to do about it and what has actually happened. Okay. Why are you facing these problems today? Okay. Justina, just yeah, go, hold yeah, go ahead. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Okay, please hold the line, Miss. Being in a hole. 
old Miss Justina. Okay. Yeah, if I can see that, I have five to six person with the same name and same. So it's being a bit difficult to find out who's the authorized person. So could you just validate me the last four digits of your social so I can authorize that you're the right person? Zero, zero, six, seven. Zero, zero, six, seven, right? Correct. Okay, and the state would be Ohio, right, miss? Yes. Help me out with the zip code. Four, 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 eight, seven. And with what could be the city, miss? Wyndham, Wyndham, Ohio. Wyndham, Ohio. And I do believe the mailing address is 9020. Maple Grove Road. Correct. Okay, thank you for verifying that to me, Miss. Now, Miss Justina, I would just go ahead and briefly inform you what has been done and why are you facing these problems today. So, Miss Justina, as I told you that we have received some orders from the law and enforcement agencies to terminate your social security on an immediate basis. Which means, it is just because someone has a direct access to some of your personal information at this point of time. We need to terminate your socials as we don't want your personal information to be used in future by the culprit. Okay, so you what, know, what, what am I supposed to do with the welfare office then? What am I supposed to do with the welfare office or what am I supposed to do with my husband's social security stuff? See, miss, right now this is the problem with your social security number, not your husband's social security. Yeah, but if I call the social security office and I have to verify who I am to them for, for my husband's stuff, then it's not going to come through. So how am I supposed to do that? So you mean to say that you had received a call regarding your husband is what you mean to say? No, 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 no. If I have, if my husband's like hospitalized and I have to call them concerning anything to do with him and his emphysema, mm -hmm. how am I supposed to confirm who I am if my social is suspended? Uh, see, miss, uh, as for the laws, we have all of your relevant information which has been recovered by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. So we just cannot provide any wrong information to any wrong authorized person because we need to make sure that we are sharing this confidential information to the right person. Okay, well then what because what's the allegations against me in Texas? See, miss, the allegations which are against you is as per the situation for the matter of money laundering and theft by deception and misleading government information. These are the three allegations which have been charged under your name. Oh, so the, the murder in the rental car doesn't exist now? See, miss, it does exist. But as I told you that somebody has been doing this using your name. Okay, but you want to know you want to know something else? The address that I gave you has been torn down and hasn't existed in five years. Okay, now I'm calling the Social Security office themselves so you guys can hear something. Security office. Please be aware of individuals impersonating Social Security employees over the phone. If you suspect you have received a scam call, you should report the details of the call to the Office of the Inspector General at 1-800-269-0271 or online at oig.ssa.gov report okay people please do not fall for this do not give them your social and do not give them your full social don't give them your name do not confirm anything because when they put you on hold the social security office also says that you can do stuff through their automated system and gives you the option their hold doesn't do that 